Hello you 12 and welcome to the fifth video here for our sixth topic. We've learned about the sine rule, now we're going to learn about the cosine rule. Whereas the sine rule uses two pairs of sides and angles, the cosine rule uses all three sides and just one angle. The most typical way to express the cosine rule is in this form here, which will appear on your formula sheet. But it, we could rearrange that in this form here, which we'll use in the next exercise actually. So, this is normally how we use this. Now, returning to our conventions, right, we're talking about the three sides here and one angle. Let's see. Now, it's important that we're going to find, typically, this side, right, that's the side we're going to find, relying on these two sides and the angle in between. Right? So, the most typical way to use the cosine rule to find a side is where you're given two sides of a triangle and the size of the angle in between those sides. And we use that to find the third side. And you'll see that's what we're going to do here. So here we go, we've got a side here and a here, four and five, and the angle in between those two sides is 61 degrees, and we want to know how long the other side is. So we're going to say c squared equals four squared plus five squared, it doesn't matter if you say 5 squared plus 4 squared, it's the same. Minus 2 times 4 times 5 times the cos of 61 degrees. Therefore, c squared equals, out comes the calculator. Ready? Yeah, we'll clear that away. 4 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 4 times 5 times the cos of 61 equals 21 point something. 21608 thereabouts. Now a really common mistake that students make is they leave that as their answer. Because the cosine rule, as typically, doesn't give you your answer. It gives you the square of the answer. Right, I've got to take the square root of that to get to C. And a little bit of common sense there. If I've got a side that's 4 and another side of 5, I can't have a third side of 21. Right, that triangle would not uh, meet, it wouldn't form a triangle. So I've got to do the square root of that. Square root of my answer equals 4 point, what did it say? Two significant figures, 4.6. 4.6. I don't need to say metres because it's already there. Rightio. Cosine rule. Let's try it again. I've got two sides and the angle in between, the included angle, and I want to find the third side. It's a cosine rule question. K squared is 18 squared plus 13 squared minus 2 times 18 times 13 times the cos of 127 degrees. Therefore, k squared equals, here we go, calculator, get out of the road here, 18 squared plus 13 squared minus 2 times 18 times 13 times the cos of 127 equals this. So k squared equals 774.65. k equals, now don't round that off, leave it on your screen. You can round it off when you write it down, of course, but don't ever put a rounded off answer into your calculator. 27, and it says two significant figures, so that's going to be 28. k equals 28, two significant figures. Right, a quick common sense check. Yep, that looks about right. It should be longer than the other two sides, but it can't be longer than the sum of the other two sides. There we go. Wonderful. That's the cosine rule. Looks complicated. It's not too bad. And it is a very uh, sort of powerful tool or practical tool uh, for finding the sides of any triangle, whether it's a right angle or not. Okay. That's it for the cosine rule. I will see you in class.